The SVG element is the root element in SVG documents. As you may recall, SVG documents are XML files or XML documents. And that means that there's a there's a root um, element, XML element, and in this case it is the SVG element. All SVG code, diagrams and shapes, etc. has to go inside this root element. The root element by itself is not visible and as you can see here in the browser on the right there's nothing to display. In order to actually see something you need to put some kind of SVG code, some kind of SVG element inside the SVG root element or inside the SVG element. And you can see how that looks here on the right. Now I have a circle here. The root SVG element has to have these namespaces inserted or the browsers won't uh, be able to display the SVG document correctly. And the only exception to that rule is in case you are displaying, um, if you are embedding SVG inside of HTML. In that case, you can just write it like this. Now I'm pretending that I had a an HTML document here. You can just write SVG in here and inside of this SVG element you can start with your circle blah 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 so inside of doc of uh, HTML documents you don't need the namespaces but if you create an SVG file in its um, in a separate file you need the uh, namespaces here in the root element you don't need them in nested SVG elements so let me just take this out as I just mentioned, you can uh, nest SVG elements inside SVG elements, and let me show you how that looks. Here is a nested SVG element, and when I do, I can, um, I can of course also nest other elements inside here, and um, I can then choose to displace all the content inside this this nested SVG element in the X and Y direction by simply setting an X and Y attribute on the SVG element. So let's say I want to display everything 50, um, 50 uh, to the right in the coordinate system and 50 down. I write like this and you can see the circle definition is exactly the same but look what happens over here when the circle is rendered. You can see it's rendered at its location that it would normally have been and then 50 down and 50, 50 to the right and 50 down here. And in case I include a another nested SVG element, you can see here I can then displace that even more. I can offset it even more and the result looks like this. Now you can see it's it would normally have been drawn here the circle in with the center in 50.50 but it will be drawn 150 uh, to the right and 150 down to the compared to the normal center. And that is what you can do with SVG with nested SVG elements.